morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 63, page 572. Many Pharisees witnessed the sin and burning with envy and malice sought to turn the current of popular feeling. With all their authority, they tried to silence the people, but their appeals and threats only increased the enthusiasm. They feared that this multitude, in the strength of their numbers, would make Jesus king. As a last resort, they pressed through the crowd to where the Savior was and accosted him with reproving and threatening words. Master, rebuke thy disciples. They declared that such noisy demonstrations were unlawful and would not be permitted by the authorities. But they were silenced by the reply of Jesus. I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. That scene of triumph was of God's own appointing. It had been foretold by the prophet, and man was powerless to turn aside God's purpose. Had man failed to carry out his plan, he would have given a voice to the inanimate stones, and they would have held his son with acclamations of praise. As the silence Pharisees drew back, the words of Zechariah were taken up by hundreds of voices. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion! Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem! Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the fowl of an ass. Do you spend time every day praising God and glorifying Him? Do you show to others that you worship Him? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, You alone are worthy of all praise, glory, and honor. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. And I know that I must praise You and glorify You for who You are. Please forgive me for the times that I fail to worship you. Help me each day to have a realization of your power and majesty. And may you use me to show to others that I am worshiping the only true God. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. May you have a grand day ahead of you. Goodbye.